I'm back to Keg in the Head. Brewmeister. Aye. We've been talking. Um, and we, so, you're shipping your next shipment in two days, is that correct? That's true. Uh, how do you know? All right, well, we were, we got inside information that an, an elf by the name of Woodrock was, in fact, informing on the... Oh, uh, uh, that's the, a shame. I like her. What laughs. Mm, indeed, indeed. We were thinking of perhaps if, if we... How many guards do you usually send with one of these ships? Uh, I've only sent one shipment with guards. Uh, two shipments have been stolen. Uh, and two guards. Uh, well, what's what their name? Uh, 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 Oleander and uh, Surak, I believe. And did they ever return? No. We know a bit of information about the uh, the bandits hiding and, and the, the, or the people who are stealing this, this mead. We do? Uh, we do. Uh, and we will take it upon ourselves to deal with them. But the plan is to uh, to essentially um, uh, we are travel with one of the shipments and then ambush them when they try to ambush us. That's bloody bri- it brilliant. It is bloody brilliant. <laughs> Perhaps the next shipment uh, should not contain any meat at all because we could, as uh, the dragon suggested, uh, hide inside the barrels. Some oh, of us. It d- definitely shouldn't contain any meat because it would no, definitely no, not. Just, just in case we fail, as if. I like this plan. Okay, it's well, cunning. Well, should we have two people as guards, and then the rest of us could hide. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and and a, and a coachman. Two and people coachman. as guards, two people as a. Co- uh, we should probably hide him. That's a that good makes idea. sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. probably he's, he's used to being hidden inside. Probably boxes. hide. Yes. <laughs> How big are the barrels of mead? Mm, you'll probably have a bit trouble to get a war force inside. Again, it, it could be possible. We, we, we could, could just hide. hide we could hide him just between the barrels. Yeah. Barrels. yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, you can like just use a box like for provision and just hide them inside that one. All sure, right, let's do that. Yeah. All right then. Yeah. All right, uh, prepare the wagon. But okay, now, now who's who's hiding in barrels and who is guards? And who's guards? Just so we know. What it makes sense if you're a guard. Yeah, I should probably be a guard because I. Human. I mean, how do you can you common me up somehow? Uh, yeah. You're a human, you know that, right? <laughs> well, uh, I have some old ropes. Yeah, that would that would probably uh, be wise. Otherwise, they might suspect when they. Do we have any guard uniforms? Uh, uh, again, uh, most guards are just uh, expected to have their own armor. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they're necessarily professional guards. Professional guards, guards. all right. Mercenaries or Mercenary. the like. Good. So if. Um, so if the two of us hide inside barrels, uh, should I be the other guard? No, no, I can be the other guard. I mean, otherwise I can do it. I don't mind. No, no, Again, no, it's no. not uncommon to have two coachmen, so they can do swifts, uh, shifts. Oh, that's right. Let's do that. Then do we do two coachmen, two guards? Oh. Yes. Okay, then that just means that one of us has to hide inside the barrel. I'll do it. Okay. So you're a guard. Uh, I'm a coachman. Sure. Let's do it. All that. right. Okay. Yeah, Has someone written this down for later? I will. I'll, 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 I'll do it. I, I'm writing the letter to. Don't worry. Don't write it in the character sheet, man. Do you know? Like, oh, oh, I'll write it. I'll write it. This is confusing now. Okay, so that means we have. When, when does the when does the uh, shipment usually Two leave? Days. Morning or? Oh. Uh, yeah, about ba- uh, daybreak. Okay, so we have. So we have to get up early. Oh, Two days in daybreak. Yeah. Oh, well, in daybreak, yeah, two days. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yes, yeah, so yeah. the, the day after tomorrow, basically. Yeah. Okay, would it be possible for us to stay here in that time? Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. I, I, I will take it from the reward if you don't mind. Yeah, sure, uh, that, okay. That's all right, then. Yeah, I suppose that's fine. I mean, we'd have to pay for a hotel room anyway, so it's fine. Well, so, uh, an inn. An inn. A room at an inn. <laughs> a room a at tavern. Room. Is that an yeah. elven thing? <laughs> no, an inn. I refuse to stay at a tavern. Oh wait! <laughs> the uh, shipment is uh, is supposed to reach a maple kind down south. Again, you make the preparations, and day breaks begins, and you set off. Oh wait! Okay. okay. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, unless you want, uh, or anything you want to do in these two days? Uh, so yeah, I think there's a few I, things we could do. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, right. At least this this evening, I'm writing the letter, yeah, yeah, posting of course. it. Uh, yeah. I think I feel like we should maybe just sort of t- just Explore. go to the mayor's office Recall. and just talk to her about all these refugees. That I would sort of are semi responsible. I would very much like to. Uh, oh, we could go to the mayor's office. She could sign off on the letter as well. 
um, that she will see the money my uh, my father could send because my father has refused to um, to send any money before there's a, a a solid plan as to how the money will be distributed amongst the refugees and how what it will be used for uh, as for to rebuilding their lives. Uh, yeah. I know. We have the money, uh, but but we, I just need to convince Father yeah. to to send. No, but but perhaps we should go and get. I mean, I mean, okay, this is this is fine for now. But we are trying to find a dragon, the, the gold dragon. But the, there was the wizard, though. I was, exactly, that's what I was thinking. thinking perhaps we, we might, should go and speak the, to the wizard, the might Thalengard, the wizard. Until right. we leave outside a wood bubble's house. Uh, just watching it, and when I'm <laughs> resting, I'm just in hibernation mode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, two hours, a couple of guards appear asking you to leave oh, the premise. Oh, this is gonna, oh, this is gonna end badly. <laughs> I don't leave. I don't. You don't leave. I don't even recognize him. I, I just keep watching the house. Before they start to start trying to drag him away, wanting not to cause a scene, a couple of guards appear, uh, approach you and ask. Uh, we have a warforged standing outside a poor woman's house oh, and shit. refused to leave. I mean, just let him be. I think it's fine. Uh, um, that I is not an option, sir. I curse in the uh, primordial. Man! <laughs> <laughs> should, should someone go and, and make I'll, sure that Spark's okay? I'll go get this. Uh, All right. I'll go get him. Bug, you notice that the, the dragon appears. Aspen. Spark, 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 Spark. <laughs> what you doing? I am observing a potential threat. Spark. She's not essentially. Do you remember Tic Tac Toe? What? Or adorable. <laughs> she. <laughs> what was happening is essentially the bandits had the young. Is it Woodbuckle? The, mm-hmm. the youngest mm-hmm. Woodbuckle? Mm-hmm. Young? She was an elf. I have no idea. Uh, the, the lady Woodbuckle in a situation. Like this, and it is her turn. She can't possibly place her stone anywhere without getting screwed. Do you, do you see her problem? So she's not actually a threat, even though she might appear as, uh, as first. Because if she place it, it places it there, then boom. Essentially, we have to kill the ticks and not the tools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Essentially, this ambush will fail if she reports our plan to the bandits. Did we tell her our plan? I feel like she went into our hand. She didn't appear to like listen to you. We elaborated our intention in front of her. Am I there? Which Am is there? why that is the, that is t- we're all there now. <laughs> Which is why she ought to be purged, exterminated, eradicated. No. Okay, so exterminated. That if we decide, and, and that's definitely an option to purge, eradicate, and destroy her. We in turn will be eradicated and destroyed, or at least, at the very least, imprisoned. And I'm not up for that. Maybe they will also take back the force. That is why we brought I, um, in observing her movement now, yeah, until we are making our move. I, I can absolutely see your point. Perhaps, perhaps he has a point in we should maybe tell the authorities to. Uh, one of the yeah, town guards is like, oh, we, 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 we could keep an eye on her and yes. do it do it in a civil manner <laughs> on like your friend over there just make sure she doesn't go anywhere I think she has to sort of stay we, we will guide her to the church and where well, we will keep an eye that on her that might be good will that will that be satisfactory Mr. Spock yes okay. okay. alright then Ah, absolutely being terribly reasonable again <laughs> again you see you see all the guards basically doing that <sighs> <laughs> okay so some of us should go to the, speak to the wizard. Some of them, some of us should go to speak to the mayor, yeah. um, who I, whose name I remember is the first name is Deidre and the second name is Martin Crest. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, who? Yeah. I'd I'd like to go to speak to the wizard and just I'm, I'm going with him. I have a personal question. I would like to join you at the wizards, but I would also want. To Jason, I will speak to the wizard, to wizard first, uh, and then we can, you can, we can sort of come and meet us there when you're done with the mayor. Yeah, I will do that. Okay, you three, yeah. basically the spellcasters, yeah, went to the the tooth tower, and other three towards the mayor. Okay, let's start with the uh, tooth tower. Then. Yeah. Okay. Yep, you appear at this uh, large white tower. The door is again. You can see there's a door, but it's like made of the same material as the tower. Teeth. 
it's a rock like an appearance for okay, good, good. But it's it, a rock but it's, it, it's or, you know, pale white mm. so it has a tooth like appearance okay, okay. Well, hence the name mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Wait. I go off and knock <laughs> again you hear from the inside oh, one moment one moment and and then the door starts to slide back like <laughs> Yes. And you see this old, like, old elf, like, long grey hair. Again, from what Ancient. you know of, again, from what you know about elves, he must be, like, several hundred years old. Mm. So he's ancient. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Behind you, you can see, like, he's clearly not a, a tidy person. There's mess clothes just thrown on the floor, old cups and plates and so forth. Yes. Uh, things we, we, um, we come from, from an organization called the Dragons of Mirth. We are we're an adva- adventuring band. Never heard of them. No, we're, we're, we're sort quite of new. new in the area. Oh. Um, and, and we were wondering if you might help us with, with certain questions uh, regarding dragons. Oh, wait, you are those with that uh, war forged, right? Ah, exactly. yes. That is us, yeah. Oh, I wa- wish to speak with him at some point, but it can uh, wait, uh, it can wait. Uh, he's, uh, he's on his way... Um, Oh, I was wondering that, marvelous! Yes, but in the meantime, perhaps if you could answer a few of our questions. Oh, we yes, can certainly answer. come in, come in. Yes. So, uh, how may Fallen Gar be of service? All right. Uh, our adventuring band uh, is 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 in in search of a um of a dragon. Oh, uh, a gold dragon. Oh, they are quite uh, quite hard to find sometimes. In, indeed, and that's why we we would like the help of a. Uh, an, an experienced wizard such as yourself. Oh, you flatterer. You could assist you us could in assist our task. Exactly. Yeah, I can certainly try. Uh, what's the name of this dragon you see? <laughs> Come on. I knew you didn't know. <laughs> Red Rheumatics. Oh, but we, didn't, we wouldn't actually know that. No. Oh, actually, I, I've told you. Yeah, but I mean, in passing. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Try to roll a wisdom check to see if you remember. <laughs> see you remember. Oh, the yep, there's seven. Not enough. I don't seem to recall the name of that. Are we allowed to roll too? <laughs> what? Are we allowed to roll too? Yeah, 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 yeah you are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> no, no, no. So, we'll right. You have advantage, remember that. Oh, it's yeah, still not allowed. It's like. No, no, no. That is a word we get. Rolling, rolling two. Two dice and oh. then using the. Uh, Again, you don't need to use it on this I'd one. rather not use it yet. I, the, the, the name seems to have momentarily escaped me. It's a long one. But I mean, but as you said, they, they are. I mean, they, they surely must be there. They can't be. Yes, they are not that often found in monks' civilized society. True. That's Sorry. more a habit of the silver dragons, after all. Hmm. As far as we know, the only thing we really know is he's part of the gold scale family. Yes, indeed. Yes, we do know that. And that is true. Uh, not something I know anything about. You, I mean, can you? Can you? Again, my expertise is not right. Okay. Unfortunately, what, what is your expertise? Out of interest, I am uh, a procurer of old artifacts. Really? Uh, which is also why I'm seeking your warforged friend. I found something I believe you will find quite interesting. Hmm. hmm. Well. You will be Can't. a... I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> when we'll we get there. Alive. Um, whilst we wait, perhaps are there any artefacts that you might be looking for that we could, I don't know... Procure in exchange for service? Procure for perhaps money? <laughs> well, I am looking for ancient scrolls. Especially right. those who are before the time of mists. But they are quite hard to come by. Do you have any leads? No, okay. unfortunately, no. Also, any documents regarding this tower might be of interest. You, you don't have any. I have a few, here. but the the news, uh, rather than information, are quite scarce. Hmm. So mm-hmm. I will appreciate anything that I can get my hands on. Right. Good. We will definitely keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much. 
Jay, you had a personal question for me. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, that, that can wait until we're done no. asking. No, no, okay, yeah, so until then, I'll get out a little bit. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, your specialty is uh, is in ancient artifacts and such. Yes. Uh, you, you wouldn't happen to know anything about the Fae, would you? Oh, I, I know what they are. Yes. Uh, because I'm looking for information in particular about uh, a, a particular, uh, well, I suppose you could call her deityific creature. <laughs> uh, one of the Archfey? Exactly. Uh, oh. I, I'm looking for information about the Archfey Galathriel. Galathriel? Oh, the, What's her name again? It's made of. What is it? I'll find the fault. Wide, wide Frost, I believe. Yes, the Queen of White Frost. A uh, member of the Winter Court. Exactly. <laughs> what do, do you know about her? Well, that. And then I, uh, I have signed a contract with her. You, you have signed... But that is unheard of. None have ever signed a contract with the Lady Galafriel. Um, well, I'm going to have to correct you there. <laughs> uh, because I certainly have. That is... That is quite something. Yes. Uh, however, she I is may... one of the more enigmatic archfey. I see. Uh, is there any sort of literature that uh, tells what her goals or such is? Well, again, there's not a lot to procure from the Feywild. Yes. The true nature is to be elusive and enigmatic, so... That makes it easy. But maybe you should seek out one of the uh, universities or academies around ta- uh, around the country. Where, where would the uh, the closest one be? There wouldn't happen to be one in Mablekin, Greydale, would there? Mablekind might have one, yes, yeah. certainly. It's one of the largest city in the north. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, uh, just writing it down as a personal note. U- university of... The Arcanum un- University. Arcanum yeah. University. Uh, oh. uh, yeah. That sounds interesting, I they have a lot of schools around Armenia and Lanford. Thanks. I'll be <laughs> looking into that. Um, um, M- Master Fanga, I was wondering if, if perhaps, yeah. if, if it's okay if we wait here for a while until our companions join yeah, us. Certainly. Um, do you have any, as, as a wizard yourself, do, do you perhaps have any spells that I might be able to copy into my own spell book? I mean, I would be greatly appreciative uh, and would also be willing to, to pay you for that privilege. Certainly. Uh, let me look. No. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. I'll I'll pay you um, fifty gold for the uh, for the um, alarm. Oh, uh, certainly. Oh yeah. One final thing. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know how uh, one could make a like ritual to contact uh, a, a patron one has uh, made a contract with. Well, I believe the spell exists. Certainly, but I, I myself do not have. The knowledge. All right, I'll just ask in the. Uh, yeah, but universe. sometimes it helps to isolate oneself and to ensure that the communication is not interrupted. All right. Well, I'll ask at the Arcanum University anyway. Thank you anyway. Oh, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Okay, so, so you just sit around like. Whilst we wait, I will write. I'll start scribing well, alarm into my spell book yeah. and pay whatever I need to pay to do that. Okay, uh, at the mayor huh? house. You three arrive? Yeah. You see a couple of guards standing outside, but again, clearly not standing guard, they're just sitting in the chairs, like enjoying the sun. Mega Man! Yes? Uh, we would like to. Is it an audience with the mayor? We would like to uh, to have an audience with your mayor. Um, I'm afraid that's not possible at the moment. She is talking with a uh, noble lord. Oh, but you see, uh, Mega Man, I am also a noble lord. <laughs> and I might be able to. Um... Fine. But but before you answer, we need you to drop your weapons. We of course, have of course. Here, take my stuff. Hey, hey. And also that fellow over there. We have heard what he has done to the poor woman, Woodbuckle. He has done nothing yet. Uh, <laughs> sorry, he really hasn't. You're not I, I think you will have to wait outside for a minute. Maybe, maybe you should you should join the other ones at the mate uh, the mage's tower. I'll wait here and guard your weapons. All right then, guard the guards with our weapons. Yes. So we uh, we venture inside. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You you go inside again. Then like there are a couple of servants and four of you meet along your way. That's like guiding you to. Okay. You just need to go up the stairs and blah, blah. and then you finally arrive. And I instantly fall into into the, what is called the noble swagger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so 
Yeah, okay. uh, uh, you, you see uh, two people inside. Uh, one is a half orc uh, woman. A half orc woman? Yeah, who's missing <coughs> a, a part of her arm. Yeah. And uh, you also uh, notice a, a young uh, man, noble gentry, fairly black hair that is like slicked back. And they both look up and like uh, greetings. Might you be the the right honourable mayor, Martinfair? No, no, Martinfair. Crest. In the east that is my name. Daedra is fine. Daedra, I am uh, Espen Goldscale of the Goldscale family. We, we, uh, I'm part of the group of travellers who brought all the the people and, from. Uh, the who's room. your companion? My companion is, I believe, <laughs> the elf. Finian. 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 I've really literally just written down the elf. <laughs> <laughs> It just is Finian the Rainbow. My, my, the elf. Yeah. Well, my, 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 uh, my companion is a is a is a travelling monk uh, who oh. is, uh, who's uh, guarded us through many dangers. Pleased uh, to meet you. Pleasure. Uh, this is Lord Damien. Greetings. Damien of of uh, Damien Korowski. You know that he is a noble lord from uh, from Greydale. Again, you, you have heard about uh, the Korowski name. It's a it's a minor lord uh, house. Oh, it's his last name. Yeah. He's from the Korowski. His first family. name was obviously Damien. <laughs> 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 yes, I'm Korowski Damien. <laughs> but again, uh, the nobles in uh, Greydale don't have a lot of influence because there is no true uh, hierarchy mm. in place. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, Korowski, of the, of the Greydale Korowskis. Yeah, that is quite right. right. Uh, uh, yeah. And uh, I take it you must be from Lanford then, being a part of the Goldscale family. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, of course, of course. My, uh, my father. How, is, uh, how, how far is your father? Uh, Einar's quite well. Uh, oh, I mean, okay. of, of course, uh, mother takes good care of him, and Yarek takes even better care of him. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, if you don't mind me asking, man. No, no, please. What brings a gold scale to Greydale? Oh, I am looking for uh, for the sire of the entire gold scale family. Uh, oh yes, but, uh, uh, a gold dragon, I believe. Yes, it is. Yes, the, yes, the, uh, the great oh, red oh. Rubanox. I also just thought it was a story. Uh, yeah, well, uh, m- m- I must admit, most people do, most people do. But uh, of course, we of the family uh, are p- privy to certain informations. Um, but yes, uh, ma- mainly I'm trying to f- uh, to find him. So uh, and well, I uh, wish you luck then. Thank you, thank you. But the reason I've, uh, I've c- come here is to ask the right honourable mayor if you mind mightn't sign or perhaps elaborate upon this letter. I'm trying to 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 get my father to send the means, monetary means, for these. The people we brought to get a foothold here, here in the lands. That's mighty kind of you. Uh, I, I will look over this paper. Okay, okay, and uh, then uh, I, I will also make sure to send it. That is, that is oh. good. That is good. Might I be so bold as to inquire, uh, Lord Korowski, wh- why what you are doing here? Oh, uh, I, I'm on a travel across uh, Greydale. Ah. Me and my unfortunate late wife promised each other to travel the world, and when she died, I. I thought it uh, best to do what we always wanted to do. That sounds uh, very, very noble and, uh, of you and uh, grateful to honor her memory. I, I hope to do so. And also, I, I've come to quite to grow fond of these small villages. Yes. Uh, do, uh, do let me know uh, if you might need any uh, sort of uh, assistance on your, uh, your travels. Oh, of course, of course. Again, he writes down, yeah. saying it again. This is where you can send like a raven or something well, like with a message to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. again, the mayor's like, uh, are there any more you need? No, uh, it was uh, mainly the the letter. I am, um, uh, I am, uh, as they say, off to see the wizard. Okay, the, again, yeah, it takes yeah, like ten yeah, minutes yeah, for them to right. do the whole yeah. hello. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. And so after half an hour, where you sat and talked with the wizard, they start to appear again. And again, you hear this knock on this stone slab out. Well, that would probably be, be our companions, right then. Oh, 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 oh yes. Forged. Come in, come in. We're coming in. We're coming in. How fancy! Uh, oh, just the one I wanted to talk to you. Uh, oh, so, and then he walks just past the drive. <laughs> <laughs> Please come in. I have something of great interest. Does he actually touch me? Now again, he's about to touch you. 
Uh, 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 pro- t- you should probably not. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, he's a bit. He's a bit. Sorry. He's a bit murdery. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. In my eagerness, I forget how warforged can be. Uh, come in, come in. Again, he leads you inside, and then he uh, walks upstairs. You hear him rummage through things, and then he gets down, and in his hand he holds a head of a warforged. Whoa! As always, the intro and outro music were by David Shesty, whereas the other pieces were by Kevin McLeod. Links can be found in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and we hope to see you again next time in Dora King.